Alright, we got another uh, fountain pen to check out today. This is, um, well, I'll tell you what. There's really not a lick of English on this whole thing. Right here, where it says Hero. That's the name of the pen. It's a, it's a Hero pen. Other than that, you don't see any English on here. I purchased it on eBay as I normally purchase, make a lot of my purchases, right? This comes in uh, blue, white, purple, black, green, red, and yellow. I did order a few different colors. This was the first one to come in. So this is the lucky one that we're gonna get to review. What I was gonna do eventually is the different colors, I'm gonna have the different ink. So like the red one, I'll have some red ink in it. A green one, I'll have green ink and so on. But today's goal is to check out what they sent us here, use their ink and everything and see how we like it. Cause this is another $5 pen. All right. I, I've been, <laughs> I've been on this journey to figure out what the difference is between all these pens. Why are some $5 and why are some $500? I don't have any $500 pens yet. All right, we'll get there some way, somehow. We're gonna get our hands on some of these expensive, expensive pens. And we're gonna figure out what all the hubbub is. I'm not quite too sure yet. Because this is all we've been messing around with, the cheapy cheaps. And I think most of you probably, if you would purchase any of these, would be messing around with the cheapy cheaps too. Alright, so there it is. That's what's inside the package. Uh, it's a red plastic pen. It says Hero on it. Very, very lightweight. The cap snaps on. Very sturdy. You have a nice big clip here, which is cool. I love when the pens have clips. We can turn it around. We can put it on the back of the pen. That's pretty cool. Something I noticed right away is the nib's a little bit different than most nibs, right? It's like completely flat on the back. Completely, completely flat. So I can't wait to pop a cartridge in there and see how this puppy works. I'm not going to clean this tip this time. I'm going to leave it just like that. The last pen I had real trouble uh, using the pen. It wouldn't flow. I have a feeling that the plastic here had something to do with it. I had cleaned that plastic and took away the sheen maybe. I, I don't know guys. I really don't know. Let's unscrew that. Oh, this has a converter, huh? Alright. We're going to save the converter for some uh, red ink. That's what we'll use that with, right? See the, when I say converter, this is so you can use your own ink. So that's pretty cool it came with that. I didn't realize that right away. We're gonna pop in one of these cartridges. And we're gonna check out the ink they give us with their pen. So what you do with these cartridges here, it hasn't been uh, spent yet, I guess you could say, right? You have this end and you just push it down into the slot. It breaks the uh, plastic there and the ink will start flowing into the pen. That should be it, ladies and germs. Put that on there, screw it down, and it just broke. I don't know if you can hear that, but it just did break the ink. And let's see what we got here. Let's see if it'll start writing right away. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Figured we have to shake it and give it a minute. That's typically how these work. So, let's see what we have here.
When I'm done with Brian's drawing here, I'm going to add a little message for him. I know it didn't have much to do with the pen I just reviewed, but I wanted to sneak that in there. Hi Puma, you want to come see Brian's drawing? Oh, one of the things I nearly missed uh, before wrapping up the review is the fact that you can see the ink inside. See that little cartridge and you could tell what color you have. You know, like I said, I was going to use the pens for red for red, blue for blue, green for green. But conveniently, it doesn't really matter. I can use them for anything I want because I can see the ink inside. It's pretty handy there. I, I, I like that. I can't tell you how many times I've already pulled out a pen and forgot which color ink was in there and had to write with it real quick. I do still have this one. I found it. I'm gonna slap the signature on there like he asked and yes Brian I will send that out to you there you go all right anyway guys don't forget check out your hero fountain pen for five bucks this thing's pretty damn cool hopefully I'm gonna get more of these in and uh, I can start giving some away so you guys can try them out too it's only five bucks I think I can afford that have a good day, have a good night, have a good whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.